Hello everyone, Aaron Bent aka Magic Man Crypto here. <clears throat> Topic of the video is going to be about how to install PT Tracker on your Raspberry Pi. I'll also show you how to get it running. First things first, I wanted to mention that Brent Dunn and myself have combined forces and we are looking to tackle any of the questions that may um, be troubling you. Uh, just come to this website, ringprofit.com, uh, forward slash, I believe, FAQ, F-A-Q, forward slash. Come here, sign up, enter your question. If you see a question here that you want answered as a priority, please click the upvote. Uh, it should place it in uh, upvoted like order. Uh, if not, we will still see how many votes there are and answer that question basically in chronological order based on um, like majority of the votes. So if you see a question here or if you do not, please add a question. Um, this helps us to answer any uh, duplicated questions and also if per se I'm out or um, if I'm able to help, um, at least Brent, Brent Dunn and myself can help you um, answer any question. So first things first, I'm going to have a link to this website in the description and you will go here and the first thing you do is change trading.log history and applications properties. So you'll change your trading.log history. I will show you where that file is. It is in your profit trailer folder and then you double click application. I do not have my API key showing so you will not see any of that other stuff but you'll look here trading.log history equals 365. You will save that file and then you can close it out or just minimize it. Uh, you will then need to download the zip file from the official download website. So the on I cannot help you with this part because you need to purchase PT Tracker. They will provide you with a key and a license. You enter that in and you can download the file. Once you've downloaded the file, extract PT Tracker and move all the files directly into your um, profit trailer folder. So I can show you this, however. We will go into downloads. Go to your downloads. You will extract your PT Tracker, extract files, and then you'll look for your, right here, you'll look for your profit trailer folder, and then you click OK. Your file should be there. Once you do this, and I'm going to show you a different way, uh, you can also, if you're, if you wanted to um, extract the files to your Raspberry Pi uh, directly, um, you'll just hit click uh, extract to this folder. Uh, it'll make a folder here. You'll look at it, you'll then, um, you'll see those files there. Uh, if you do not have WinSCP, this is how I transfer files to my Raspberry Pi. Uh, all, you, all you'll need to do is type in WinSCP in your browser or in Google and uh, it should take you to the website. You will find, you'll locate your PT Tracker file. You'll see these four files and what you'll do is you'll drag and drop them into your profit trailer directory. As you can see, you'll see PT Tracker, you'll see the PT Tracker.json, run PT Tracker.bat file, and mongoose.conf. This needs to be in your profit trailer folder, all right? You will then cl double click on your PT Tracker dot json file i will not open mine but i'll open this one you will type in your starting value uh the currency you're trading on your user id your license key uh the exchange you can also name your bot also transfers i believe you can just manually input some transfers that may not show up um in the bot or sorry in pt tracker uh so once you've done that, we will move on to the next phase, Raspberry Pi. You'll look for Raspberry Pi down at the bottom. You change the directory into a profit trailer folder using the command prompt. So what we'll do in the next phase, we are going to open up a command line, right? We're going to type in CD. If you do not know how to do this, I will show you the easiest way to um, 
do this. You will double click your profit trailer folder. Wherever it is, find it, double click it, and you see here, you just highlight all of that, and you copy that. No. You copy that, and then you'll paste it here. And that will take you to your um, profit trailer uh, directory in the command in the command prompt. So the next phase is going to be start up Python web server using the command Python. So we will then type in this copy. You can copy this. Go over to your hopefully everyone hopefully everyone is running the VNC um, viewer for their profit. Uh, the profit pie is what it's called. Uh, I got this from GNOME. So you'll then paste it over here and then you'll hit enter and then as you can see it is running. Once you see this running you will then start up your profit trailer. Um, obviously I'm running the profit pie from Crypto GNOME and um, he has these built-in scripts for the profit pie or for the Raspberry Pi, I should say, and um, you just double. I just double click it, and then it runs the file, or it runs um, Profit Trailer for me. So what I'll do is I will then minimize that. I will go over to a web browser, and I'll go to my. Um, I'll go to my Profit. My Profit Pi's um, IP address. With a semicolon, no, that's not a semicolon. With uh, on port eighty eighty four. So as you see it, you will then type in whatever IP address or whatever um, the address is. You'll type in uh, port eighty eighty four at the end. You'll see this page. Do not freak out. There's no errors here. You will then uh, just click on pttracker.html and voila. So you'll see this, and then once you see this, you are ready to go. It's running. So I hope this helped. I also did, um, I, just, I, I basically wrote a script. Um, I just copied and pasted a script and just modified it. Uh, I'll open it just so you can see how it is written. Uh, and then you can just modify it to your, to your liking. Um, and here it is. I'll leave it open for a little bit. All right, so... Um, is there anything else I wanted to close with? Uh, yes, if you guys have any questions, once again, just leave it here at ringprofit.com. Um, I believe that's forward slash uh, FAQ. And um, let us know if you have any questions or concerns. I did, however, have some, um, some folks ask me about my, my settings. So I wanted to make this clear that my settings... Um, I hope that when you're using my settings, you've understood my settings. I've had somebody reach out to me recently and ask me why there are zero in his buy log for about the last couple days. And if you've been watching my videos or even looked at my settings, you'll notice that my pairs that I'm trading with is only eight. And if you have in your pairs log five, and in your DCA log 6, 5 plus 6 is 11. You will see a goose egg here forever until you have less than 8 um, trading pairs. If you want to trade, you then should increase that value um, above 11. That is just an example. I also have offsets in place so that when the market is boring, it will then change my um, trading pairs to four. So it would make it even worse. So if you don't understand what's going on in my settings, um, this definitely prohibit the way you want to trade. So I suggest if you're going to download my settings, at least ask um, certain questions um, or look through the code and see what's going on or look through the settings I should say and see what's going on in the settings and, and, and see what you need to make changes to so that it works for you. 
I also have it, uh, my settings set to buy more when the market goes bare. So I also increase my, my pairs, my trading pairs. I also increase the cost that I'm going to spend on a pair. Um, I'm also working on implementing a stop loss. Um, this is one of the things that I'm, I'm thinking about doing, thinking about implementing a stop loss uh, just because of, of what's going on with, as you can see, my DCA. I mean, I'm bagged up for days. So <clears throat> this is another thing that I'm looking to do. I'm also looking to see how I can benefit the most out of the DCA. So I'm not sure if I'm going to eliminate the DCA or if I'm going to quite possibly enable and disable uh, the DCA functionality based on the market condition. So these are things that I'm, I'm currently working on, currently thinking about. And as you can see, I'll have time to think about it because LISC, I'm not sure what's going on with LISC. So hopefully everyone is doing better than I am. Uh, once again, uh, my settings are, are, are pretty strict. So please go through them and adjust them. Or if you need, just take the bit that you need and implement it into your settings. Hopefully everyone enjoyed this video. I hope this was very informative. Um, and thank you for your support. Hit that like, subscribe. Um, and if you're interested in PT Tracker, the link to PT Tracker uh, is below in the description. I once again thank you for your support. Thanks for checking me out. Take care, everyone.